good afternoon everyone it's amy from so let's be quilty studios in pentwater michigan so what i still don't think it's live oh it is keep going <laughs> how are you today oh it's saturday and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. We've had bits of sunshine, but, um, you know, it's a little cold. But, you know, we're in the Midwest, so we have to deal. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Hello to Kathy. We're, we are going live. I'm here. Um, I don't have as many bags as I thought I would because today was busy, y'all. It was busy. Um, so, and I appreciate that. Uh, so I hope everybody's having a happy Saturday. I will have more bags tomorrow when I can come in. It's quiet and doors are closed and uh, we can get some bags made tomorrow. But we'll go over the new bags that I have for you. And then I'm going to show, get recap the ones that are still with us. Um, they are uh, going to all, all going to new homes. So I'm so happy about that. I appreciate all of you. If I haven't said it a million times, I will say it a million more. So, um, so a, a couple of people have asked what the brown bag mystery is about. So I'm going to give you the, the shortest synopsis of what this is just so we can get to the bags really quickly. Um, so the brown bag mystery is a nationwide uh, program and the brainchild of K Karen Montgomery of the quilt company and she comes up with a new pattern every year and it is a double mystery what that means is we let you see a hint fabric and you know it's a quilt and it's 60 by 70 so everything that's in your brown bag is to make the top your borders and binding are not included because if you want to make it bigger it gives you that opportunity to do so. So the bags are 119 or 129. The tilde bags are 129 because the fabric is a bit more expensive. Um, so when you get your brown bag, mine is these cute little, I folded them up really cute. They have a thank you note in there. Your, in, your stuff you can't see is all hidden. And then your hint fabric is on top. So when you get your bag, it has an instruction sheet and all the information you need to start this. There is a Facebook group that is kind of essential. So if you don't have Facebook, have a friend uh, <laughs> help you out. Um, so the Facebook group has a ton of information. This isn't just about a mystery. This is about learning new skills this is about a lot about education um she teaches you so many things you get to learn you get to you know bond with people you get to create relationships so it's kind of amazing so um so so that that piece of it is really really important you will need for this year's brown bag mystery or highly highly recommended a roll of two inch finished a triangles on a roll. So we will not just be using it for this project. We'll be using it for our bonus project. There'll be things that are coming up in the year that we'll be using the two inch uh, triangles on a roll for. So these will not go to waste. If you already have one, um, then you probably have, if you already have a half a roll of triangles on a roll, then you're fine. But I highly recommend that you get it. It's at the top of our brown bag mystery page so you can put that in your cart and then I will show you recommended borders. You don't have to get the borders but I'm recommending them. One of them I'm, I'm recommending highly because it really makes the the quilt. So we'll get to that. Um, so when so you're going to ask to join this group I am going to put you on a list and then you're going to ask to join and then she's going to admit you after February 10th. Then we will have some things coming up. We'll have the, the table runner, free table runner will come up. So there's all sorts of fun things with this brown bag mystery. Only 60 shops in the U.S. are participating. So we are an exclusive group. We also, uh, we're called Soposium Shops. We also have exclusive 
uh, patterns and exclusive fabric that we're getting in June that's called Counterpoint, which is gorgeous. So I really encourage you just to come along and play and have fun. So without further ado, we'll go over today's bags. So the first bag I'm gonna show you is a Tilda bag. This is from Hibernation. And this is called Autumn Autumn Bloom Old Rose. Uh, hibernation Old Rose. No. Yeah. Or whatever. It's Old Rose. Hibernation Old Rose. Yep. yep. Hibernation Old Rose. And it's this beautiful dusty rose. Um, and it has aqua and this kind of sagey green in it. And then my recommended border print is that. So we recommend that you get two and a half or three yards of border that will also uh, do your um, your binding. So um, if you get three yards, you'll have enough for binding for a moderately sized quilt. So up to a seven inch border. So that is Old Rose. I'm gonna do that. All right, so the second one is um, I have two bags that are both from the same line of fabric called Christmas Eve. The first one is Christmas Eve Fa La La. So you have the Fa La La's. This, um, this one is directional, but you can be directional where I put it. So that's the only directional one that's in this bag. So this is Christmas Eve Fa La La. And, um, and then I have Christmas Eve gray, gray flowers. Um, you call it, sorry. I think it's gray flowers, gray roses, maybe. Anyway, it's too, super gorgeous. Uh, Christmas Eve gray floral. Gray floral, fantastic. Um, so the recommended border fabric is this sagey green fabric for the borders and i have enough for two kits so um, but there are other things in this line so if you can't find that go to the website go under christmas eve and you'll find those as well can you make another one of those another one of these no those this one if yes not, okay so you can show it because someone already bought one. Oh, okay <laughs> Somebody already bought one. That's shocking. Okay. So I'm going to show you one that I need to make another one of if you want it. So this one is called Farm Life. That's why he was trying to take it away from me. This one is called Farm Life. And it has this kind of, um, it has this floral that has like rust and plum and gray and green in it. But the important thing about this one is this border. This border is everything. And so I really think this one needs this border to make it sing because, let's do it this way, because the border is all of these farm animals. Look at that. The illustration on this is fantastic. So we are cutting our borders uh, the length of fabric. So this is gonna be fabulous on that bag. So um, if you want one of these, let me know. Um, I probably have enough to make two more, but this one is super cool. Okay. Our last one is from the brand new, fresh off the truck, um, Tilda called Jubilee. And this one's called a red tree bird. So it's these little birds with the kind of mustardy color and it has the sage green and the aqua, super gorgeous. These, the, the camera does not do Tilda Justice. You have to see them in person, they're so pretty. So the recommended border for this one is that guy right there and it should be with the should be with it, so I recommend that one. Okay, so those are the new ones. So let's do a recap of, um, of what we have. 
uh, still around. So we still have the uh, storyboard Seth Apter here, and that is more kind of a masculine one. It has um, has more of the jewel tone colors in it. Super gorgeous. So there's that one. Let's see, let's make a pile somewhere. We're gonna make a pile right there. Okay, and then we have, you know, somebody's gotta give a good home to the roller skates. Ruby Star, <laughs> Ruby Star Society roller skates, and they're black background with gold, um, gold metallic in it, and those fantastic blue roller skates. Somebody, please. All right, we have another Ruby Star Society, and this is Floridora. And that one, if you if you go online and you look at the line of fabric, there's so much goodness on that one. So I hope that one goes to somebody. And then one more Ruby Star, I think. Yeah, one more Ruby Star. And this one is called Stay Gold, and it is um, all of the moths and butterflies. That's a Melody Miller. So I'm gonna put those back in here. And I'm gonna pull this one over. So I have a couple of kids ones. We have the Lucky Rabbit from Heather Ross in this beautiful green. Let's see if I can pull it up a little bit more so you can see it better. We have these adorable dogs. So they're little mini dogs. Oh, we do have one more Ruby Star. Uh, we have Backyard, Ruby Star Backyard with the, the bright and colorful border. Um, and you can also use this one for your border prints. And then, um, I think this is the last holiday. Yep, so this is Pixie Noel. I'm gonna turn it that way so you can see. Wait, I'll turn it this way. So you can see the little stockings by Tosh Noel. And let's see. We have the tiny cars in this kind of soft pastel green. You can make, you can make at least one more for me. Uh huh. Okay, I'm going to add one. We have Catsville. These cool cats. And then the last one that's left is the Lori Holt stitch with this um, aqua background floral and then these red and yellow and pink flowers on it. So those are what I have left at the moment. So um, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Saturday. Um, I have been really so amazed at um, the response this year. So it's fantastic. We appreciate you. Um, so back tomorrow at 4.30 and we'll do more bags. And I hope everybody's having a fantastic Saturday. So uh, we'll see you again tomorrow and we'll show you some more goodness. Thanks a lot.